Hello and welcome to 5 minutes about ADHD and autism. Today I will talk about when we as parents and as teachers have to take care and um, when we have to um, take control. Because um, when, when my, I have three childs, three boys, and, um, and uh, when the first, my first son was, uh, was, small, was little, we, we didn't know that he had autism and we didn't know he had ADHD. Um, so we tried to raise him as probably as we could, as probably as we could. But um, very often people looked at me with eyes to say, why don't you take care? Why don't you raise him? Why don't you take the control here? Um, we, uh, when we went to church and the organ starts playing, he, would, he might uh, uh, shield his ears and he might be screaming, he might be crying, he might be um, being totally out of control and um, and people blame me uh, maybe not with words but with eyes do you call yourself fun mother or they did this so i obviously could see that um, they didn't like my son's behavior and we tried so hard to take control we tried so hard to um, to raise him uh, to be polite to be sweet to be calm and we wasn't very successful um in that job and um and somehow i start put it into myself i'm a bad mother i don't know how to raise a child i am um, it's my fault that he's doing this um and uh, it was a it was terrible feelings to to go around with to live with to be a mother with um and then then when he uh, when he grew older, uh, new issues came up. Um, sometimes when I said to him, uh, "I need you to help uh, with emptying the dishwasher," sometimes he would say, "No, I can't do it. No, please." And um, and I could take control and say, "You had to do it." Boom, and uh, he would do it. And other times he would uh, splash down, splash down on the floor. And uh, crying and um, shaking and uh, and when other people looked at that, they again I got the eyes. The you, you let him control you. You uh, um, this is wrong. You can't be a mother like that. And and sometimes I was listening to them more than I was listening to my son. I was uh, listening to them and I was uh, blaming him and I was making him. Um, uh, to, to do the dishwasher, though it was actually almost impossible for him. Later on, we learned about ADHD and autism, and uh, and I learned I, I had to learn. We had to learn that um, that sometimes you just need to take care and not take control. Sometimes you need to take control and not care, but you had to to um, wait about. Uh, what am I going to do today? And very often it's my experience that the child is the only one who can tell you if it is today he just need a hug, or it is today he need a kick in his butt. Um, so, so I just want to share this with you, so that you have uh, the confidence in that you're doing your best as a mother or a dad, and uh, that you had to to speak with your child. Can you do this? And you, as a mother or a daddy or a teacher, you have to learn this child. You have to learn when can I push and when can I only hug or take care in somehow, some way. I hope, um, I hope these small five minutes can, can make a difference. It made a huge difference for me to realize that I was not a bad mother when he was laying on the floor screaming. He was just having a bad day. He was just meeting a mountain he couldn't climb somehow um, and maybe you are, are having kids who also have mountains they can't climb without you seeing them helping them and not blaming them anything i hope uh, this made a difference out there